It is 10 o'clock in the evening. I'm still at the Moroccan border. I was driving in a police car today. I was held at the border patrol. Hopefully everything goes quick today. decided to queue up already before breakfast and now I enjoy the silent morning hours for sleeping it's too loud but for being outside in Morocco it is nice and quiet birds it's quite beautiful but everything else is still not alive everything is closed most probably everybody is sleeping in their cars or I think there are one or two hotels around water gates are here so that's all closed as well there's one guard and at nine o'clock the gates are opening and all the craziness is starting again. But now, let's make some breakfast and get ready for this day. Somehow I still have the hope to get my drone back. I don't know why I still have that hope, but... Um, <sighs> That would be so wonderful. So in case I haven't managed to find the correct words yesterday evening, as you can see, I'm still at the border in Morocco, at the Mauritanian border in Morocco. My car got scanned, they found my drone, and then it was just running around to the border patrol with the police. I was driving in the police car. It took around 10 hours to fill out two forms which they have printed and I needed to assign them. Also they have written something down by hand like a proper page full of things I couldn't read it as, as it was in Arabic. So basically what will happen is that I have to leave my drone here. I will most probably never see it again. So yeah that's quite frustrating but I did not have to pay a fine and other than the time wasted it it was actually quite a quite an experience. I quite enjoyed it. It was mostly funny. It was mostly entertaining, but also at some point very frustrating because the borders closed at some point. So the borders are closing at nine uh, at seven o'clock here. At some point, I realized, oh fuck, my car is inside and I'm outside. That meant that I won't have any access to the car at some point. But in the end, it, it all worked out. I could leave the border again, which is a rare case. Or like they said, it is a one-off. And today I have to try again. Um, yeah. First, breakfast. Breakfast is so important. Be prepared before you go into the border. Eat properly, have drinks with you. Maybe don't have a drone with you. <laughs> I guess <laughs> uh, but yeah it's a learning and well I don't know good morning attempt number two I'm at the border I'm at the gate I think everything will be fine today at least I'm a little bit more prepared and I know what to expect see you on the other side step number one is done again I was here yesterday already so that's not a progress the next step is the scanner again or they will search my car manually and then i hopefully can proceed and it looks like the guy who checks the exit gate is not even there yet there are cars queuing to get out of here guess he's a little bit late
last step I just have to show the papers to the last officer and then I'm finally out of Morocco I am very much relieved to be honest Bonjour, yeah, bonjour. Huh? Yes, sir. So another passport checkpoint These are the all the fixers after the border. They want to help you to get through the border control in Mauritania, but I reckon it's not too difficult. Okay, I'm nervous, but I am out of Morocco, and like I said before, I'm just I'm just super relieved. Right now I'm driving through the minefield between Morocco and Mauritania. The thought that to the left and to the right you could just die if you drive in is insane. I have read that I have to stop in front of the main gate at the border of Mauritania, get a stamp, and then I drive in, stop again, next office to the right. I think this is for the temporary import permit, which then again has to be confirmed somewhere, but I have to read the instructions again. It is a little bit stressful to drive here, knowing that there are active mines. Mauritania. I am in the second country of many on my way through Africa. Mauritania! I am coming! Nobody is waiting for me. You'll be fine. I am so relieved. It's uh, it was it was not difficult. It was confusing. But I luckily had a fixer in the end. I did not ask him to help me. He was at some point, he was just on my side the whole time. But in the end, it turned out to be very helpful. And I think it, it saved me at, at least two hours, I would say, with running back and forth, not knowing where to go. It was a nice gift. I mean, I paid him five euros in the end, but uh, that was absolutely worth it.
have arrived at the destination and it's actually quite beautiful with those rock formations in the background and with this architecture here. I'm not far away from the next city, which is Nwadibu. I might stay here for a few days. I have to take care of the food. I'm cooking next to it. So thank you very much for watching again. If you liked it, leave me a comment, leave me a like and a subscription would be wonderful. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.